Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'll be presenting a lightning talk on DH and cultural heritage in Nigeria. My interest is on how we could digitize our festival in Nigeria. And that's um, for the first point of call. This um, was motivated in 2017 when I participated in the digital humanities uh, school at Lagos, Nigeria, because we work on cultural heritage, both for tangible and intangible, and also preserve it. So I find it very interesting to get into that, which um, for the reality we have on ground, it doesn't occur everywhere. It had to be a case of a major festival where, where it occurs once in two, three, four years, depending on the case. So I delved into festivals. I looked at for how we could preserve this cultural heritage. But the first point of call is uh, in the area of of um, pedagogy. Most times in in in, in, a, in the classroom in the university or undergrad undergraduate courses, we have a um, limited uh, popular culture. So when we speak on um, popular culture, we mention festivals and other um, cultures in Africa in Nigeria. Specifically, we couldn't really teach those children without uh, with the resources, with the resource or material that could help them to understand it better. Since um, the festival don't don't really occur every year, the festivals in Nigeria. So for them to actually actively participate in what we teach in class and then connect them with the real festival itself. So I, I feel strongly that the research in that direction to digitize um, festivals in Nigeria will be necessary just for, for teaching purpose. So I came across a documentary, a, a, a book on this um, festival in uh, Lagos, which was for, was written by um, a journalist. And that book was quite, um, as a page you have on the screen, was quite um, introductory and inquiry into the history, the, the time line, the, the diachronic study of the festival from 1900 to the last one we had. And that's um, why I actually uh, found it interesting 2017 and 2018, which are presented in part in some of the DS conferences. The point of now is to see from documentation. I want to move from documentation to digitization. Over time, it's always been um, a technology, like you have in the next slide, not just a documentary as we have it. Um, in the journal, in the book, I came across the book. I want to also see the narratives from the, 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 the beginning point of that festival. So what we have now. I'm moving from documentary to narratology. Then from narratology, I'm moving to what we call oral reporter. The aspect of fables, the aspect of, of performances, like the keynote speaker noted during this presentation. The aspect of performances, the aspect of participation. Who, who is involved, who get participated in such festival. The aspect of preparation, what comes before the festival, what the activities, what, what goes on during the festival, and what are the happenings after the festival. So I feel strongly that this could be done um, as a GH project. And for, for, to start with, the documentation would take um, one or two of faces. The first thing is to see how we could document the images preserved either online through YouTube, so through um, Google search, or actual images dotting from people that witness it or from photographers. And the next thing to look at for other sources, such as video, maybe there are video clips, uh, documentation on videos, and how do we um, preserve such documentation um, over time. So I'm not only stopping at documentation. The, the other phase is to digitize. Digitalization of text will go beyond just the, the primary text as it is as a data. We we'll also see how we can convert analog data, especially in large um, volume images running into thousands or millions of videos and text into a digital form, just like we have a digital edition or editions of from sister, the edition of other text or more called um, English text. So I feel strongly that we could also find a digital edition, a web based digital edition of festival in Africa. My interest now goes beyond pedagogy. It has to do with um, research collaborations. 
where you could see people from Africa that have the background of the this festival could do annotations. It could contribute when the images are documented, digitized. It could contribute to it and make um, reasonable annotation that could help people in on um, uh, anthropology. People that are interested in in festivals in locations could also um, see how it works. These are the pictures that you have on the screen of the performances, active performances of festival in, in Nigeria, the case in Nigeria. And like you see, you see different colors, you see different um, um, description in terms of, of cultural, I, I mean, images of, 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 of clothing, of color. There are also seven of such um, of different participation of the same festival. And recently, I came across in the last one, 2017, their agenda perspectives to it. Over time, it's always been an age, specific age group. Now we have young adults, we have uh, underage, also wearing the clan, also participating uh, in the festival. Now I move this step further. How does what goes before the festival? I also want to, I'm interested in the actual performance, in the actual performance, and how do we leverage on, on DH methods, DH techniques, so to our best um, keys, um, images. I, I started out with um, the of encoding initiative to produce a digital festival. Um, looking at the, um, the, the principles of GEI to see how we could um, generate and perform um, a good um, digital edition of the text using the XML extended language as well as the option to set up a markup of a web based accommodate not just text, which is the primary focus of TEI, after I've scanned them, I've transcribed them, and I could encode them. A step further in this current paper, it's also so beyond um, text encoding in to uh, incorporate um, um, simple ideas, because this is um, images, uh, videos, and other forms of the same representation. But the, the, the incorporation of simple ideas would help me so see number one how image could be uh, digitized and how it could be universal not just digitization based on a background see in, in terms of interoperability okay.